Welcome to Still In It, a 5MEO DMT Journeys podcast, where I talk to real people about their 5MEO experience. Our goal is to bring you honest and diverse perspectives about what this medicine is all about. I'm your host, Jesse, and I'm excited to have you along for the ride. So hop in and enjoy as we discuss what preparation, ceremony, and integration look like. This podcast is sponsored by Enfold, offering safe and sacred experiences in British Columbia. To learn more, visit enfold.org. That is E-N-F-O-L-D.org. Or click the link in the show notes. And now, without further ado, I hope you enjoy today's episode. Okay, on today's podcast, we'll be talking to a lovely woman named Sam. And I want to say thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. What uh, called you to the medicine? What called you to 5-MEO or Enfold? Well, I think as as they say, as many a, a more wise person has said before me, um, the medicine comes to you when you need it. I was definitely searching and seeking, um, particularly, I mean, throughout my whole life, I guess, but particularly throughout the pandemic. And I was sort of feeling like I needed something and I was sad and lonely and probably struggling with a bit of depression. And Jay Bird, the uh, fitness studio here, which is a lovely fitness studio, um, was where they were doing a breathwork shop. And I was like, you know, that's what I should do. That sounds good. I've done breathwork before and really enjoyed it. So I went to the breathwork shop and it was Stephen Austin and I didn't know anything about them or, or even what to expect. I just was looking for something. And we started the breathwork along with their music that that they create that went along with it. And it was so powerful. And I literally felt like my soul, everything within me was just like cracking open, like, like dead tree branches, like cracking. And so I went up to Steve at the, at the end of the session. And I said, you know, do you do more of this? Where can I do this? Da, 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 I want to sign up. And he's like, well, I don't really do this all the time, but I, we do do ceremonies. And he's like, well, why don't you email me and I'll get in touch and you can, and we can go from there. And I was like, okay. And um, then he sent me more information and we had a conversation on Zoom. Because I had no reference point with psychedelics, I I really didn't know what to expect. So for me, I, I felt like I had to do a lot of research to feel comfortable. So the medicine found me and it was everything I could have needed and more. How were you feeling with the no psychedelic experience and then doing what is um, often claimed as one of like the most direct, intense psychedelics you could be approaching? Yes. Well, <laughs> when I went to my ceremony, what ended up being the biggest blessing is the people in my group were there was an addictions recovery specialist, a neuroscientist, and an ER doctor. And, and so right there and in there, I felt completely at ease because I'm like, these people would not muck around with their brains. And, and if anyone knows about drugs, it's these people um, and the effects of things. And they, they were all because they had a lot, they all had experience. Um, they were all like, wow, you're going in at the top of the Christmas tree. Exploring myself and my, my psyche and my emotions is very natural to me. So that part, like, for example, like exploring trauma, that doesn't scare me. I've done a lot of therapy. <laughs> and to be honest, kind of like that kind of thing. You know what I mean? So I was never scared of that, like confronting something. It was more like the, the physiological that, yeah, like the, the brain synapses switch and they, you don't come back. But like I said, the people in my group, I was like, these people aren't going to muck around with things if, the, <laughs> if they're brain doctors. And they're here. Um, so I thought, why not me? And do you want to share a little bit about your actual 5-MEO experience and maybe how um, allude to a little bit of the, like, the facilitation of Steve and Austin and maybe how that helped you feel more comfortable? The experience was wonderful. I mean, I couldn't have predicted anything that of how it would have been like, but it was without predicting anything. It was exactly how I thought it would be. Um, the we did it three times, and the first part was just lovely. It was just like effervescent. I still was in myself. I still felt because I guess that was the other thing that people fear. You feel like you lose yourself totally. 
And while I wanted that, I didn't want that because that's the human brain we're scared. And um, I still felt connected to the earth and, and within the room and, and to them. But it was just really beautiful. It felt very like, I can feel it now as I'm talking, like twinkly and um, almost like you could really sense like this, the particles, like how we're, everything is connected to everything and the veil between like this, our physical realm and the other realms and the universe and yeah, just like the 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 part I just that was the main that twinkly particles that like connect everything that nothing was different whether it's the table or me or you or the sky or whatever or the stars and then the second dose I felt very similar I felt um that kind of like a strong sense that I I me you whatever we were always here and we always will be and I knew this since I was a child, like I was always here, not in this physical form. <laughs> of course, I don't want to die. I'm thankful to live in, uh, at this time. But also when I physically die, I don't feel that I will necessarily be that different. I just will be a part of what I was already a part of. But then what happened? The Elsa power. So then the, the last one. It was like the universe was caving in on itself. The realms were all caving in on themselves. And I was like, just kind of like dipping into it. And then I tapped into, again, why well, I'm glad I didn't film it, because I tapped into like the most harrowing sound. And it was like basically like a one-year-old distressed, I guess, tapping into like the greatest trauma or something. I don't know. I nothing specific but just like the feeling but that's what I wanted I wanted to tap into that and I wanted to know some answers to you know the things that we carry around with us I'm always carrying around something with me right and I can do therapy or I can do somatic work or I can do breath work I can do this and it gets there but it doesn't it never fully gets there and I feel like with this it got to where it needed to go when I came back, I had a lot. I had a lot going on in my chest and in my body. I kept gagging. And they were like, oh, would you like to do it again? And I thought, I think I've had enough for now because I didn't know what to expect. And also that, like, the last experience was amazing, but it was very, very intense. And so I was like, I think now, what I would have done is asked to do a lower dose to just explore more. I felt like I was still carrying a lot. Went to sleep, woke up, we did the breath workshop the next day, breath work the next day. And basically the second it started, I had another experience. So basically it was like I had my fourth dose. The second it started, the music, I dropped straight in. I started gagging again and just like accessing, accessing again, this harrowing feeling. But through the breath work, I then experienced myself dead in the forest or, or lying in the forest dead I guess but it was really beautiful I was just like in the earth and it was it was the earth was very alive and there was all these beautiful flowers and trees and deers and bees and like you know I felt very comforted on this earth and for me that was like the breakthrough that I needed that I didn't have the day before that so yeah I had this the breakthrough where I could kind of like get through to the joy and leave that sludge behind went home integration no problem i expect i was actually surprised by how gentle integration was i expected things to be more for me to be more out of it or like really deeply reflective i actually found that i kind of like slipped back into life i i was changed but in a gentle way then suddenly i was in silence with myself all of a sudden, it was like an earthquake happened. So this is exactly a week later. It was like... And it was almost like my system was rejigging itself. And then I had this like burst of sheer joy. And I was like singing and dancing. And like, I just had this like release. It was wild. It was wild. So yeah, that was my... So then I had another experience a week later. That's amazing. Because honestly, often it is at first when you leave, it's very gentle. 
like you, you're like did that really even happen like what really went on but people will get reactivations and it sounds like or like just a nervous system reset is in a way like what um how we try to explain it it sounds like that's what happened it's like you were just continuously releasing the last question i have for you um is what would you want somebody to know if they were like looking at doing 5-MEO or going to Enfold? Like what is something that you either wish you knew going into it or something that you want to like stress from your experience with it? I have just said to people since that it was a, a true space where you could be accepted wholly, but also had, had, had the space to integrate, to discuss things, to contemplate or, or discuss with them. Um, and that it was a whole process, not just like a one-off, you know what I mean? Like that I did it in a room by myself and like, just thought I'd go through all that and not understand it. Then I think that can be damaging. And also you don't know what's going to come up. Right. And and for me, I don't, I don't see like trauma, traumas coming up for me is a great thing. Like, great. You're dealing with it. That's bubbling to the surface. Um, and you can start to heal things but you have to be in a safe environment. So yeah, I've said to people since I've been like, they're like, Oh, da, 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 that sounds great. I'm like, great. But you have to be willing to, to see your deepest trauma. And it's not everyone is mentally prepared for that in the moment. Thanks for listening to the still in it podcast. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you're interested in hearing more, the best thing you could do is to leave us a review. This allows us to continue to record and inform others on the 5MEO experience. If you want to join our beloved community or learn more about us, feel free to visit us at enfold.org. That is E-N-F-O-L-D.org.